Guten Tag, this is Rich from Hughes and & Kettner and I'm here with Lars from Candlemas at Bang Your Head Festival in Balingham, Germany. Welcome to the Hughes & Kettner picnic table. Thank you so much, it's always a pleasure to meet you guys. <laughs> yeah, you've just come off stage, you've played to 20,000 Germans in the pouring rain. Yeah. How was the mood? Uh, the mood was fine and the rain wasn't constant, so the gig went very well and it sounded great, of course. Yeah, and tell us about it, do you prefer playing festivals or do you prefer playing smaller headline shows? Uh, I prefer festivals actually. I mean, it's a, always a good environment, and I've been mean, uh, festivals like this. They have like uh, an organization that actually works. Uh, of course, there's an intimacy in, in playing in, in the club gigs where you hold like 600 people that are going crazy. That's a totally different thing. But I like to do fly-ins with the amp in my hand. <laughs> Very easy to travel. I always get my sound with me, and our sound guy is always a happy guy. That leads me on to a very interesting question because you're playing the Grandmeister for all these fly gigs. So, so tell us about your experiences with that amp. It's been totally amazing. I mean, for example, uh, three weeks ago we played in, uh, in Poland and uh, the rhythm guitarist uh, that also plays the amp forgot the amp in, in the trailer. So it was alone in the trailer, swirling around and I was thinking, there is nothing left now. He just plugged it in and... Aah. Okay, so I mean they are really sturdy because he was really worried. He said some tubes must have been break, broken or, or something, it's, uh, electronic stuff. You couldn't even see the, the epic because I knew, I heard that was what was happening in the trailer. <laughs> so he was a happy man and also there we have a, an extra golden star for you guys that it's, you can actually throw it out from the third floor <laughs> and it hits the fucking wall and it goes, you just turn it on. And it works. What have you done with the amp? It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> but I mean, it actually shows what, I, what you mean when I, when I visit you guys and you show me your testing room and stuff and you told me, well, we dropped this one from one meter and I go like, you did what? <laughs> yes, we have to make sure that it survives all the things. And, <laughs> and now I saw it for real. How did you get into Hughes and Kettner? Actually, there was a guy, we were recording an album in the, in 2005 and I had my old 72 bass Marshall that had 57 tubes in it or something so it almost exploded and, I, and he said we need something new and he took uh, into the studio the two different tubes and Kettner heads and I was like how do I get one of those and then I sold my Marshall that I had since I was like 14 years old because I was smashed because it was so easy to get there and I could, could get older sounds and modern sound, you know. So it was like a versatility and my playing was, it was much more fun because now I could change for whatever I like. And he just hooked me up with these guys in Sweden who were selling you, you your brand. And then it started, it came, a switchblade came around and uh, later on a core blade came around and then I, fe I didn't feel so satisfied with the fact that I couldn't bring it always with me since we're doing so many festivals. And so you guys invent this little nice <laughs> amplifier through 36 watts that blows everybody away. And it, it, it's, it's, I have never used anything else since. I mean, and I even got the, uh, the rhythm guitarist Mappe, he was so impressed with my sound, so I even hooked him up as well with you guys. So now. We have a sound guy that is the happiest man in the world because he always asks us when he meets us at the airport, do you have your own amp with you? Yeah, we have the small ones. Oh, good, 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 good. Then he's gone. Then we know it's going to be good. And now everybody told us you had a good sound out. It was great. I mean, what you hear on stage is always a little bit here and there, depending on where you're walking around. But I mean, what the audience hear, that's what's important. Do you ever get other bands on festival bills saying to you, oh, this amp is tiny, it can't make a serious sound on a huge stage? Uh, uh, they've, they've, they've said that many times. Uh, the technicians, other bands, they almost looked at us like, what the fuck is that? And it's, it's a blue light in it? Yeah, shut up and listen. And then you just turn it up and go like, wow, man. And then all the technician guys, they go to the backside and say, oh, you have a red box, and you can do this, and you can do that, and you have, a, you have this, oh, oh, and they, go, they almost freaks out and go, yeah, yeah, I'm using the front, you're using the back. <laughs> so it's a, it's a 
it's a good bargain and a good deal for everybody. You're using the red box on live shows, right? But you, you mic up as well and you blend the signals. Yeah, he, he used to do that. It, it depends on what he gets out. So he blend my sound with... Uh, because he, he knows what I sound like yeah. when I'm not mic. He, he, he used to stand in front of the cabinet and hear me playing and he goes like, aha, and then he goes to the de desk and uh, fix it, you know. So how do you get that huge, distorted candle mass sound? Tell some of our fans who might want to make those huge, distorted sounds with their grandmeisters. The easiest thing is you start all the way on the right, there's a button called gain. Turn it all the way up until it breaks, almost. And when you reach that spot, you have a volume and you have a master volume. Turn them up, turn up the, the volume as full as well, and you have only the master to use. I mean, you only need one. <laughs> and then you can twiggle with the bass, mid, treble and stuff till you get your sound because everybody feels different. And Mappe does the same with his amp and us together when we play chords also makes a difference because we could play a chord and I play the same chord in a different place and it turns out to be a very big guitar that comes out. But with this sound. So it comes like a fucking brick. BOW! So, I mean, that, that's, the, that's the secret. People are too carefully with the gain button. You, but you don't necessarily need to use the boost when you're over two o'clock in the full volume. <laughs> One thing I'm interested to know about is the fact that you mentioned how simple it is. On a festival gig like that, that's really key because you've got, what, half an hour between bands to set your stuff up, get ready to go, and, and then you're live, 20 minutes. So how does that work then? I need five minutes. I, I, I just go there. I see the amp, I, just, I, I bring my own case up, take up my guitar, plug it in, <coughs> bang, oh. and then I hear the sound guy, Lars, can I have some more guitar? And I go in front, do some rhythm, do some short leads, turn on the wah pedal. After two minutes, we're done. There you go, that's seven minutes. What, what do you do for the next 13 before stage time? Well, then I just leave until the other ones are done with their stuff. And then, and then we just go. So, so as easy, as simple as possible. You're not lying? No. no. This is the drummer, John Lin from Candlemas. Cheers. So we found here a very rare thing. It's a guitar player who's actually satisfied with his rig and his gear. <laughs> yes. So let's wrap this up then. Tell us where fans can go to find Candlemas stuff. Website, Facebook, where are you? Uh, we are at Facebook and we have our own site called Candlemas.se where you can, uh, well, you can just go there and see what happens. <laughs> I, have, I have my own little Facebook site but I'm so lazy that I never update it. But sometimes it comes a little picture with an amp or a new guitar or something weird that has been going around. But, uh, uh, most of the time it's a friend of mine that takes care of the updates. Sure. Well there you go, this was Lars from Candlemas on the Bang Your Head Festival in Birmingham, Germany. This is Rich from Hughes and Kentner, don't forget to check us out at HughesandKentner.com, check out the Grandmaster page to hear the amp that Lars is playing, and we'll see you soon, tschüss!